What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel, and uh, today we're doing a little still game. This is uh, Season 1, Episode 4. This is Corton. So, uh, trying to keep up with these here, obviously, with my setbacks I had with uh, well, my lovely bout with COVID. Um, you know, I'm just getting back to things, so... Uh, I'm surprised I'm doing more than one day in a row. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to keep it going, you know what I'm saying? Either way, this is Corton. This is episode four. Looking forward to this one. I'm really enjoying the show so far. I really am. Um, it's, it's been a pretty good time. So let's sit back. Let's relax. I got it right past the entrance. Somebody commented, hey, you don't have to show the uh, the intro every time. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> I don't mind not showing it at all. I'll make sure that we watch the end piece, though. Here we go. Let's get into it, folks. If it's your first time here, uh, we're currently doing some still game, uh, Scottish sitcom. And, um, yeah, we do a little bit of everything, a lot of comedy over here. Uh, we try to do some culture, some sports, things like that as well. Uh, how's everybody enjoying the TT? I hope everybody's having a great time with it. Probably do a TT reaction soon. Uh, for, you know, dig up, uh, you know, some clips I haven't seen before or something, check some stuff out just because, you know, tis the season. Here we go. It's courting time. Your bat. Stick your pub up your ass. <laughs> Long for indefinitely. Till tomorrow. I know, I know. Yeah. What have you still to do? Maybe I'll have to get a key cut. Tomorrow. Two bulbs for the hall, being at not screwing. I need a battery for that doorbell. Uh, bolt the window in, couple of dusters, a belt for the Hoover. Right. PTO. Wait a minute. Get a pint. Right. Which of those things that we did first? What's the name of this shop again? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Barrio Themes or something. <laughs> Shayo. Uh, hey, gentlemen. Top of the morning and the look of the Irish. Ah, that's smashing. What to uh, Pat Ireland are you from? Springbum. Look, <laughs> <laughs> look. What's in the bag? Hey, old Clays. The charity shop. <laughs> I hope that big honey's on the day. Hard with the tips. Hey, hey, hey. What? Not that, the tips. All right, old gentleman Jack. You coming in? No, I'll wait here. What's the matter with you? You have tips? Shut up. I'll stand here and I'll smoke my pipe. Get in, are you daft? <laughs> Hello, my darling. You remember us? I'm standing in front of the heart disease place and smoke a pipe. <laughs> uh, I think so. The two debonair patter merchants for Craig Bank. Yes, how could I forget? So, what would you like to give me? Oh, a night on the town, cosy meal, bottle of wine, dancing till two. A meal of wine and then dancing. No, I meant in the bag. That's the mystery, eh, sweetheart? Old clays. <laughs> Excuse us. What's the score with you? What? Where's the old silver tongue, eh? I'm knocking him up and just sleeping. Old clays. Where's the banter? The old double act. I'm kind of be asked. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. You fancy her? I do not. Aye, you do. You've even taken a beamer. I haven't. It's just. It's too warm in here. Why don't you ask her out? She's lovely. Don't be ridiculous, Victor. There's nothing ridiculous about it, Jack. Just ask her out for a wee meal or something. You think? Forgive me, sweetheart. We don't even know your name. It's Barbara. Barbara. Lovely. My friend here has something he'd like to ask you. Oh? This guy's hanging out with the kids. They drink in wine coolers. <laughs> Winston, have you seen Jack anywhere? Aye, he flew by here two minutes ago without so much as a buy your leave. Right, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. This is Chris, Tomo, Kelly, Kylie, Pat and Tiffany. As you can see, Pat and Tiffany are an item. <laughs> What 
the hell are you playing at? I can bar at the clansman. I've nowhere else to go. So you're hanging about with these mutants? <laughs> Why don't you just get a drink in the house? I'm not drinking in the house in my Todd. It's the company I'm missing. I gotta tell you, one of my favourite uh, Scottish words, I think, is hoose. I, I love it. I think hoose for house. I, I think I don't know why. I just think it's hilarious. I did. Uh, I mentioned this the other day, but I did a Kevin Bridges bit, which immediately got band slammed by whoever, whatever parent company gimmick, NBC Universal, whoever the hell it was. Uh, but he was talking about sleeping over his buddy's house, and they got Chinese food, and they didn't get any rice. And then he's like, "Oh, we got our rice." And the guy's like, "Oh no, we make our own rice." He's like, "Oh no, they make it hoost rice." <laughs> and he started calling his buddy hoost rice. That became his nickname. I just love it. The word hoose is great. Uh, by the way, they uh, they blocked the Kevin Bridges, and then I asked for a release, and they basically told me to go shit in my hat. So, sorry. <laughs> hoost rice. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Sitting there with Jackie Bird staring at you as if you're an alky. Have you tried this? Skaduba. 6%. Strawberry. <laughs> Barbados in a bottle. What the hell did Bobby bury you for? Well, it was something over nothing, really. I mean, I went in there and I said, Afternoon, Bobby. Painting my usual, please. So he gives it to me, but it seems a tad cloudy. So I suggested that maybe he rinse out his pipes, you know. But Bobby said it wasn't the pipes. So, I merely suggested that I be furnished with a fresh pint, but for some reason, Bobby escorted me for the premises. <laughs> Why don't you just get a pint in Bruins? Bruins? I'm not going to Bruins. The last time we were in there, somebody got stabbed. Bruins is full of roasters. <laughs> it's 15 years ago, for God's sake. No chance. Bruins is a toilet. Can't I kill these ones for the game of Gran Turismo? Aye. Maybe I could have a pint in Bruins right enough. To forgive it, Gran Turismo. <laughs> I'm gonna play video games. Pops are coming. The door was open there. What the hell happened to you? Ah, well, didn't give a very good impression, did I? Oh, no, he gave a very good impression, Jack. Of Jesse Owen. <laughs> <laughs> The shopping's in lot of your bus. <laughs> yeah, well, the bottle crashed. I'm past asking MD out. I love the beaded curtain. I think you always see those nowadays at like massage powers. Let's see. Oh, we've got here. <laughs> Why? Was I there doing that, eh? Listen, you know that big dame there. Well, that's Janet Friel. That was the spinster that lived up the stairs. Sure, mm -hmm. aye, aye, aye. Janet Friel. Butter wouldn't he melt, eh, Jack? Aye. Did she not get pumped in the lobby that day? <laughs> <laughs> pumped in the lobby. <laughs> that's right, I was once this way that I had up the old bastard. <laughs> pumped in the lobby, I love it. How long's Gina away now, Jack? Hmm, about two weeks it'll be. Ten years. Ten years? That means my Betty's away twelve years. Aye. Uh, it's all racing away for us now, eh? Aye, uh, that's uh, kind of a bit bit. I'm not, I'm not going through all that again. You know, Jack, it's, it's not my place to, to tell you how long a man should mourn, but... Ten years. Ten years is plenty. Uh, Going on a date doesn't betray Jean's memory. She'd want you to be happy. Why don't you get doing that shop? Ask that woman out, eh? Besides, hey, daddies. <laughs> <laughs> No used to be Bruins. That's right, sir. Changed hands years ago. All oh, right. 
So what can I do for you, sir? Paint a lager, please. Jeez, it must be 15 years since I was in here last. Really? That's one pound thirty. Eh? One thirty? Jeez, oh, look at that. Nice clean paint, eh? This is a smashing shop you've got, son. Thanks very much. Free Bobo Mitchell. See you in another 15 years. <laughs> I'll see you in another 15 years. <laughs> I gotta I gotta ask, because I've seen it in a couple of these uh, scenes now. Are all the bars in Scotland or the UK for that matter all have all the liquor on like the upside down pour system? Because I don't see that anywhere over here. I, I know of the systems. Usually they're used only in like uh, VFWs and veteran halls and things like that because they're like control port systems, but you just don't see them in bars anywhere. <laughs> Listen, they you mind very much if I can myself. Why right, on you go on you wait a minute. What are you gonna say? Hey, I'm gonna say You're a lovely Hello, lady. Barbara, it's me, Jack. Um, nice to see you again. <laughs> uh, allow me to be straight with you, Barbara. Uh, I've admired you for a long time uh, from afar. And it occurred to me, well, you and I are about the same age, and uh, I wondered if you were free to do so, would you like to accompany me uh, to maybe a movie show, or for a meal, or simply a drink? What do you say about it? That's lovely, Jack. I generally go out on Thursdays with my sister. Oh. Wait, what about your pal? The four of us could go out. Hey, hey, just a minute. <laughs> Cross-eyed and confused. How'd you get on? How did we get on? She said I, and she's got a sister. <laughs> <laughs> With the old goats. Oh. They're not coming. They've got us a dussy. Relax. They'll be here. And with that bus, they'll be bloody late. Ah, and with that stupid bastard that drives at two miles an hour because he's blind. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Nervous. Nervous? I am nervous. Very right to be nervous, you know. Give me a clue what this sister looks like. Nice flat caps. This is bloody torture. Hello, Jack. Hello, Victor. This is my sister. <laughs> Two pints, Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, who's the other one for? Me. Oh, what a doof I've got in me. Oh, I'm mad with the thirst. Oh, no. It's like a sandal. Uh, an Arab sandal, I. I'm dry. Bone no, dry. No. Mm. <laughs> A ball didn't change that, Bobby, is it? Right here, Winston, quick! They'll get me bloody bad as well. Oh, here. She has that smashing. What do you know just going and apologise to him first? Ah, oh, he can whistle for it. I'm no apologising. I'm fine out here. Here, when you go back in there, tell Big Arthur he's sitting his arse and I can see the football, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, lads. Hi, Winston. Oh. Hello, ladies. I'm Winston. Oh, hello, Winston. Oh, no. <laughs> you still there? Hi. Here, which one of you two unlucky bastards is saddled with a munchkin? Right, that's it. Where are you going? Pam, I'm not sitting in my local with that thing, Jack. Oh, well, that's just perfect, isn't it? You're going here while they're me with these two women. I only saw one woman, Jack. I don't know what that other one is. A munchkin, sure. Shut up. <laughs> Come on, Victor, get a chance. Bail me out here. Right. You owe me. 
Aye, aye, aye. You want anything brought out? Aye, bag of nuts. Bag of nuts, right. Big bag or a wee bag? Wee bag. Just like Victor's. <laughs> Victor, Jack, what are you staying in at this time? Well, we're out with a couple of friends if it was any of your bloody business. And by the way, while I'm at it, when are you letting Winston back in? When he apologises. <laughs> Aren't you uh, going to introduce me? No, certainly. Barbara. Hello. Hello, Barbara. And Edith. Victor. There's Edith. Hello. <laughs> hey. Jeez, <laughs> Uh, well, we'll have our usual uh, one. Have Gin and tonic, please. Eat it. Fine again, is. Fine again, is. Damn, Alfred. What's the score? Two one, Chelsea. Are you apologising? Where's your apology, you prick? You're still bad. <laughs> so, is this your local then? Oh, I myself and Victor have been coming here long and weary, I. <laughs> oh, uh, Edith. So, do you work in the shop with uh, with Barbara? No. <laughs> so. So, so, I do alterations and that. <laughs> so, when. Six pony. Uh, uh, you might want to have a word with Bobby and alter his prices, either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that we're doing the alterations and that, so you might want to alter the prices in here. Good <laughs> 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 Digger, 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 and the windy boxes. Oh. <laughs> There's your bus now, eh? Listen, that was lovely, Jack. Oh, I had a lovely time. <laughs> I must say, Barbara, you are good company, right enough. Huh? I'm just saying, Victor, good company. Aye, good company. <laughs> right. See you soon, then, Jack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, eh? Good night. This <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> So, what's your next move? Oh, I don't know. If she gives me a phone, I'll, uh, I'll take it for there, you know. Will you be seeing me? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hi, Jack. It's Sunday morning. Let's fatten up the ducks. Eh, uh, I can't. What are you talking about? Sunday, it's park day. Morning. Well, actually, I'm I'm going down the park with Barbara. All right. Uh oh. So, eh. Uh... <laughs> See you after. I enjoy yourself. Dirty bastard took his bread. Third wheel, <laughs> poor guy.
egg. Buy a little. <laughs> Just the one big Kit Kat. Aye, what of it? Oh, do you normally get two big Kit Kat? One for you, one for Jack? We didn't eat everything together, Naveed. We only joined at the hip. Oh, fell out, eh? Bad news. Ah, do you can't afford to be falling out with your pals at your age. And why would that be, Trisha? Well, you're an old man. You could die in the night, and then you and Jack would be in separate worlds with unfinished business. £2.20. <laughs> Jeez, uh, hello, hello, Isa. He's a wee pal the day. Think they fell out. Oh. We haven't they fallen out? Lucky donkey, Navid. Oh, uh, I'll have a lucky donkey, don't Navid. You'll be a bit of a loose end with Jack tripping the light fantastic with that Barbara sort. No, Isa, good luck to them. Two donkeys. <laughs> Victor, I've got something to tell you. What is it, Isa? This Barbara. Well, she's. Uh -oh. Let me guess. She's the Black Widow. No, no, she's. Junkie. She's a lap dancer, working at a bad club in the tune, firing ping pong balls right out the duff. Out the duff. Pong, pong, pong. You know oh, I don't like gossip. How you do? I was at the doctor's this morning, women's troubles. And who else is sitting there but Elsa Clark? She's got in China right enough, we so her living alone, I know. Oh, her daughter works in the Tesco's and the manager there's Alec Wilson. Remember him? <laughs> Fellow that drinks too much. Oh, everybody thought he was gay, turns out he was, not he? Well, he started a Saturday boy, a nice boy, Victor, bad with the acne. And he'd been in the Terry's and get pally with Norma Flynn's boy, Rab, with a funny horn like a claw. Oh, the beans called him Rab the Crab, mind. Well. His girlfriend's mother was thrown out an old tea set that her granny had left her. Oh, it was perfectly good, but she didn't need it. So she gave it to Rab to take up to the charity shop in the precinct. And Rab says to herself, hold on a minute, I don't need to come up to the tune. I'll wash that woman's man's car. I'll take it up myself. So it does. But she's no in. So her man takes in the tea set. Whose man took in the tea set, Isa? Barbara's man. She's married. Just can't be. Have you, eh? Uh... I have, aye. Aye, so have I. Five old, fifteen. So how many books did you get? Eh, uh, two. What, just one each? That's not very much. Oh, any more than that, you'll be busier than a one of them cabby with crabs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the coffee. Right, yeah. <laughs> Winston. You doing in here? Anyone else to go shoot? They have beer. <laughs> You're a dab hand at that. <laughs> right, well, that's what a week out the Klansman does for you. <laughs> the so the beer. That's why I'm here. Right. Longest week of my life. You see, this morning, I had the crossword done, taught myself chess, and wallpapered the fireplace wall before my first shite of the day. <laughs> you must have said the other night. You're not big Tony, you know. Well, he's steaming drunk, you know, and he's in the pub, he's shouting and bawling. I can juggle enough. Of course, nobody believes him. So eventually, like good few of them, I said, maybe you'll buy you a drink if you can juggle right enough. So he's full of that red stuff, that gunk, that aftershock stuff, full of it. He's round the back of the barn, he's up in a stool in one leg, and I'm going, Tony, Tony! Ah, you never, you never really missed yourself, it was a lot of shit. Did you see Larry Hagman and Lorraine Kelly this morning? No, I did not, no. I did, look at his age, didn't he? Is he, aye? I thought he looked after his cell now. You want to get yourself back up with that clansman fella. I see you're in with Big Boobra. Batman. I'm still seeing Victor. Aye. No. Oh, aye. Getting him a wide berth since you hooked up with your fancy PC. Eh? That's poor. What's poor? Your fancy Even piece. Victor hung out to dry like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I was getting some hole flung at me, I'd be distracted and all, but you've got to look after your pals. Hey, 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 hey. It's not like that with me and Barbara. We're just companions. Q is murder. Hmm. Oh, hello there. It's Winston, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, hen. Full house. Jammy oh. cow. <laughs> right. That's me. That's me off, ladies. <laughs> Goodbye. Jack. Barbara. Aye. Got a clarinet lesson at two. <laughs> it's all about where you put your fingers, you know. <laughs> Victor. 
Hello, Barbara. Cloudy the day, isn't it? Aye, Cloudy. I want my pal back. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you know pal, fine what I mean. You've no right being with him. You're married. Oh. Right. That. What do you think you're playing at, eh? Jack's been widowed ten years. You can't go tinkering with someone's feelings like that. Listen, Victor, the last thing I was going to do was hurt Jack. He's great company, and that's all there is to it. Well, what does your hubby think of that, eh? <coughs> ah. He doesn't he know. <laughs> doesn't know what? Hey, doesn't he know what to charge for the cardigan? <laughs> <laughs> you did in here, anyway. Just bringing in Mayor Clay's. Right, Barbara, how does this sound for tonight? Pepper steaks. Oh, tonight? Oh, you've got other plans. No, no. Tonight be fine. Smashing. Right, what about you, Victor, tonight? Eh? Hey? Well, I thought the three of us could sit down and have a nice wee nosh up, eh? Oh, no, you do your thing. I don't want to... Three's a crowd, Jack. Ah, oh, come on now, I was always going to ask you, like. So you were. And what's for pudding? Gooseberries. <laughs> ah, well... Exhibit A. Read them and weep. Three juicy steaks. How about it? Come on. Aye, all right. Hi. Good. <laughs> I love that wallpaper. And the beaded curtain. Big fan. Is there sugar in this, Jack? Oh, aye, there will be. Say, Barbara takes sugar in her tea. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> So I went earlier on. Why? Oh, He's still barred at the clansman. Really? You're off a quiet. No reason. Oh, you and the half cause of me and Barbara. No, it's it's not that. Well, what is it then? I've something to tell you, Jack. I'm your pal, and you need to know. So, Doon. Trying to find out on the phone. 9135. Oh. Hello, Barbara. Yes. Oh, where are you? Oh, hi. Oh, I see. No, not at all, no. Well, I'll see you. All oh, right. Oh. No, that's that's not at all, no, 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 not at all. Well, uh, look after yourself then, Barbara. And all the best. Yes. <coughs> yes, you too. Bye now. That was Barbara. Aye. So not becoming. No. Said she's a. Uh... I know. I'm sorry, Jack. That's all right, Victor. That's all right. <laughs> A rare oh, meal, like Jack steak. boy. Right, right. I am stuffed. Uh, me and all was full of the whole crew. See you two pally again. Winston. <laughs> two of you. Blow my cover. Two pints, Bobby. Three pints. Uh, th three pints, Bobby. How the hell are you playing it? He's no winning. I'll stand here, happy as you like, eh? The perfect customer. He'll be none the wiser. And nobody's tippled. He used to, didn't he? He knows. He's a bartender. Let's go, boys. 
Happy young man. The cloudy one. He, he kissed him. The cloudy fucking beer. He knew it. <laughs> you, you dirty bastard. That's exactly what I'm on about. That paints a bloody disgrace. <laughs> May not bring you your daft old tit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what the end has for us today. I'll just take another re hoff here. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I can't believe Barbara was married. I kind of had a hunch. I was like, oh, this guy, something's too good, you know, but. That sucked. Hey, they each got an extra half a steak. I mean, that's how I look at it. Okay, it's like, well, that really sucked, but um, I just got an extra half a steak. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think they could have taken the half a steak and tied it around the sister's neck so the dog would play with her. It's just my guess. Handsome woman, very handsome woman. Uh, this show does get better as it goes, I think. Um, I thought this was this had a lot of fun in it. You know, a little serious note at the end there. Um, the guy, the guy get barred from the from the tavern, and then he sneaks back. It's just the ridiculousness of it. I love the uh, the guy who owns the little store. They buy Lucky Camels. Is that the name of the scratch card they keep buying? Uh, the guy that owns that store is pretty funny. He doesn't appear very often, but when he does, he's got some good lines. So I'm enjoying him. I hope you guys are enjoying Still Game with me. Uh, I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Um, and uh, I'll. Be catching you again sometime later this week. We'll see how rest permits. Hmm. You guys take care of yourselves, all right? Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for all the support. We're gonna get everything rolling again here. It's slow but sure. The views are coming in a little by little again, so we'll get there. Until then though. Scroll up. Mm -hmm.